Well, greetings, friends, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I really enjoyed the conversations we all had last time with regards to the SRV, and a lot of you brought up the point that the commander is actually not teleprojected into the SRV, but is really there. So I was really confused by this because for the longest time, I thought that it was a teleprojection. So, of course, I came out here to the planet's surface to do a bit of a test. So, jumping into the SRV, that part's easy, we've all done that a thousand times before, but the first thing I wanted to do was jump in the free cam and have a look and see whether I can actually see my commander sitting there or not. You can see in the free cam that there is in fact nobody in the commander's chair. So very clearly, you guys are correct, the SRV is not a teleprojection, you are actually there. Of course, that means that uh, Elite Dangerous is totally inconsistent with regards to how it does its uh, teleprojection and AI, seeing as though you can send the ship away and make it fly away, and uh, it does that seemingly by itself, which it shouldn't actually be able to do, as we'll explore later on in this video. And of course, as a definitive test, there's only one thing left to do, to see if I can blow up my ship and then survive on the surface, and if I can, well then we can 100% confirm that this is not a teleprojection and you are really within the SRV itself. So if we aim the turret squarely at our ship, give full power to weapons and wave our ship goodbye, you can see that, indeed, once the ship is blown up, you are still alive in the SRV and, well, apart from the fact that you can't get home in any way, shape or form, you're perfectly fine. Now, of course, if you blow up your ship, it's not the best idea in the world because you are now completely and utterly stranded. So the only thing left for it is to self-destruct or destroy yourself by some other means. And that's pretty much the only way to get yourself back to where your ship was. And of course, doing that, you will respawn wherever it was that you last were or that you last docked, in my case, in Jemison Memorial. And I always find it strange that when you initiate the self-destruct that it actually turns off the life support as well. And surely... Uh, leaving the life support on and having tons of oxygen pumping would make the explosion even more spectacular. But, no, apparently not. But, uh, there you have it. So, quite obviously, after the rebuy screen, you will find yourself back and where you were. So, for the first part of the experiment, we can say definitively that, yes, you are not a teleprojection in the SRV, as I had thought, and you are actually there. But, I think there are a few more experiments that we actually need to do. The other piece of evidence for the SRV not being a teleprojection is also the fact that you can't swap freely between the ship and the SRV as you can with the fighters as we'll see later on in the video. Which in a way is kind of cool because when you're on the planet's surface you get that sense of isolation and loneliness when your ship flies away. But again, it shouldn't be able to fly away because it's not being controlled by anyone. But, um, well, there you go. So here we found ourselves back on the planet's surface on the edge of this lovely ravine which will probably give you a fairly good hint as to what I'm about to do with myself. And let's have a look again just to make sure that nothing has changed. We can again see that there is in fact no commander in the Sidewinder, but there is one in the SRV. And let's throw ourselves off the cliff and see what happens. Now this is supposed to demonstrate, apart from significant nausea and vomiting on the part of Commander Headless, uh, what it would happen if the SRV was to be destroyed whilst the ship was actually still landed on the planet. And again, I know some of you have done this before, but the suggestion was that maybe the ship swoops down and picks you up once uh, your SRV is destroyed, and that's how you can explain sort of jumping into it or teleporting into it up in, high up in orbit when the SRV is destroyed. So in order to test that out, I wanted to leave the Sidewinder on the planet's surface and destroy the SRV so that we could actually see whether you do end up in the air or whether you stay on the ground. And kaboom. And as you can see, we are back in the Sidewinder on the planet's surface at the edge of the ravine. It hasn't taken off. It hasn't come to pick us up. So basically, I'm not really sure how to explain this from a law perspective. So with the first part of the experiment over, we can come to two conclusions. One, that the law version of the SRV and the commander dying and getting back into the ship is janky as all get out, and that the SRV is not a teleprojection and you are in fact in it when you deploy. And unfortunately for Rod Binder here, I needed a pilot for the second part of this experimentation, so my condolences in advance to Rod Binder and the entire Binder family for what's about to happen. So obviously I'm in the keelback here, I'm going to set myself up with both a fighter bay with a fighter in it, 
and a planetary bay with an SRV. Now let's get out of here. And yes, as you can see, my killback is named Boombox, and his ship ID is Smashy, which may give you some indication as to what's about to go down. We're back on the planet's surface, and we have Rod Binder, the unfortunate future pilot, on board. So this experiment is just to see whether the pilot that we have hired now appears in the commander's chair, or whether the commander's chair remains empty despite the fact that there is somebody there who can actually fly the thing. So we'll jump back out into free cam, do a bit of a zoom in, and as you can see, both the co-pilot and commander chairs are empty. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but I seem to remember that there was actually a generic all-black, black-faced, helmeted commander that used to appear in the ships themselves when you're in the SRV, which uh, would have to some extent explained the situation, but that also may have been what uh, led me to believe that you were actually a teleprojection. But anyway, let me know in the comments if I'm totally imagining things or whether that used to be the case before the previous update, because I feel like there was a generic commander around doing some stuff. So now obviously we're dismissing the keel back and sending it out into orbit, and then we'll recall it back down to the surface just to see whether Rod Binder has appeared in the commander's chair because, again, otherwise the, there's no real way to explain in terms of law why the ships are flying away by themselves and coming back by themselves while good old Rod Binder is just sitting there on his bunk playing Tetris or something. And it's a bit harder to see because of the reflection, but nope. Still no commander, still no pilot in either of the seats. So yeah, maybe someone can explain to me what's actually happening here. Alrighty, and just for the sake of completion, we'll send the keel back away, and uh, we'll do a bit of smashy smashy and destroy the SRV. And again, this is the most common situation in which you'll end up destroying yourself and getting back into the ship. But we'll see what happens here and see if the animation's any different or the length of black screen's any different or if there's any difference at all with regards to you getting back into your ship. The irony, of course, is when you're not trying to blow yourself up, the SRV seems quite fragile, but here where I'm throwing the SRV headfirst against the planet, it's actually taking quite a few hits. But eventually, the canopy does succumb and we explode. After a quick loading screen, we're back in the commander's chair of the killback, out in orbit. And there, very clearly, you can see it is us, Commander Headless, or Headful, sitting in the commander's chair, and there is no pilot with us. So again, I guess the law is that maybe the ship collected us, but uh, that again doesn't play out because it worked the same way when the ship was actually on the surface. Okay, that's the end of the SRV experiments. Some more experimenting now with the ship launch fighters, I think. So now we're heading ourselves into a Hazrez uh, for the very simple experiment of trying to work out who is actually flying the mothership and who is actually flying the ship launch fighter. Now you would think that the answer is actually very simple in that the pilot would fly the mothership if you're in the ship launch fighter and vice versa. But as you'll see in a second, it's actually not that simple. But if we pop the ship out with the pilot inside and then we go into free cam, you can see very clearly despite the reflection of the rocks that it is, Commander Headful, who is actually flying the mothership, and presumably the pilot who is flying the fighter. Okay, that's all very straightforward, so why don't we swap into the fighter and see what happens, and, uh, well, fair warning, it gets a bit weird. So if I was to ask you what is happening right now, you would tell me that we are teleprojected into the ship launch fighter from some location within the ship, and that the pilot that we have is actually flying the mothership itself, correct? So very clearly, as we go into free cam and we go towards the mothership, we can see that, well, we are still in the commander's chair and Rod Binder is absolutely nowhere to be seen. Right. Now in this bit, I'm very sure that there used to be a generic all black helmeted, black visor down commander model that used to be sitting there. So which made a little bit of sense because I thought to myself, well, okay, they're not going to model every single possible pilot that you can hire in the crew, so they're just going to give us some generic one to indicate that somebody is there. So I sort of accepted that, and you guys probably did too, but now, having replaced it with the actual commander model, that is totally weird. And here you can see that bizarrely, we are sitting inside the fighter ship as well, entirely the same model, wearing a life support helmet as if the oxygen has gone out, uh, which, again, is bizarre because we are not there. So clearly, the commander is in two places at the same time, one teleprojected, one real, and Rod Binder is just sitting in his bunk doing his crochet or catching up on his Sudoku. 
So the theory then goes that we truly are within the mothership itself that we can see out of the windscreen and we truly are not in the fighter that we also appear in. But the only way to test that definitively is to blow up the mothership. So the theory goes that if that previous statement is true, we should be absolutely dead in that we would have killed ourselves with our own teleprojection and would have died in real life inside the mothership. So let's see if that's what happens. And kaboom and kaboom. So no surprises there. We are truly within the mothership and not within the fighter itself. So if you shoot the mothership and blow it up or it gets blown up in combat, then you will definitively die because of that. And the fighter is destroyed as a after effect of the mothership no longer being there. Well, that experiment has at least answered some questions for me. I hope that it's been of interest to you. So we found out that the SRV is not a teleprojection, so you guys were all correct. And we also learnt that since the latest update, some weird stuff has happened with regards to the ship launch fighters. So thanks for watching as always. I really appreciated the comments in the previous video and as you can see, those comments drove this content and uh, I really enjoyed making it for you and finding the definitive answer out for myself as much as for you guys. So please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, that would really help me get to the thousand subs, which is the uh, current aim that I'm stampeding towards. And rest assured that there will be very many more room scale VR tours of ships where I stick my head in stuff. But I just wanted to do this one because I thought it was an interesting topic after the conversation with you guys on the SRV room scale walkthrough. So that's enough from me. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Fly safe, commanders.